Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for June. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading uh, that is tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about uh, Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for June 2024? What does Sagittarius need to know for June 2024 for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. We have encouragement into the unknown in dry desert. Okay. I feel like at this time, some of you guys are feeling very lost. Some of you guys don't know where you're going. You know, some of you guys just don't really know, you know, what your path is like. And I feel like it's important for you guys at this time to surround yourself with people that will encourage you, that will support you in pulling you out of this difficult situation that you're in, all right? I mean, some of you guys could be in like a romantic partnership where your partner is encouraging you, encouraging you to sort of like get out of this kind of like this energy or this mindset of like not where, knowing where, you, where, where you're going or that, you know, uh, where you're feeling lost here in life, I feel like this person's encouraging, supporting you to find your passion here, to pursue your dreams here, okay? We have magic stream. Seems like a lot of you guys, or some of you guys, I mean, it could be someone that you're dealing with. That could be dealing with a lot. Someone here is like hitting rock bottom in life here. Or someone here is overcoming some sort of obstacle, some sort of hurdle here, okay? This is interesting. I feel like someone here needs like a salt bath or something like that. Someone here needs to be in nature, connect with nature so that someone here could reconnect with themselves because I feel like someone here is really disconnected from themselves. And I also feel like the disconnect has something to do with the wounded uh, uh, the wounded inner child here. Someone here hasn't really, uh, you know, dealt with healing their wounded inner child, okay? So we have magic stream, we have mountain, and then we have rock bottom. All right. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on for June 2024 for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. For June 2024 for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles here and a, a Page of Wands, okay. This does have something to do with the inner child here. I just feel like someone here never got the support and the guidance um, that they deserve or that they were looking for as a kid. You know, I feel like, you know, um, you know, so, you know, someone here could have grown up in a household where, you know, parents were absent, you know, or the parents were non-supportive or that, you know, uh, parents could have been abusive here. You know, someone here kind of fell down the wrong path here. And I feel like someone here is being guided to pull themselves out of it or that, you know, there are people that are trying to pull you out of it or pull someone out of this here. You know, it could also be a situation that, you know, someone here could be a parent and they could be dealing with a troubled child here. Okay, let's see. Ten of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups here. 
and a six of swords and the devil. Oh, my God. oh wow. I feel like someone here grew up in a situation that was not really great. Someone's home life was not really great. Someone here went down the wrong path. Some here went, went down the wrong path. And like I said, you could be that person that went down the wrong path here, or that, you know, you could have, you you could be that parent and you could be dealing with a kind of like a, a, a child that went, went down the wrong path here, okay? Someone here is seeking your help, okay? Now this could be, like I said, a child or a romantic partner here, okay? Some here is seeking support and guidance to get out of sort of like some sort of tough situation that they're going through here. All right, tell me about the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles here and the uh, Three of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles? Like, I feel like some here is asking not to turn their back on working on healing their inner child or turn their back on someone here who's struggling at this time. Yeah. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords. Someone's family situation is not so great. Yeah. I, I just feel like there was, there's been a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and I, I feel like someone here dealt with some sort of abuse here. Could be a situation that you know Sagittarius this could be you that dealt with this and this is getting passed down to like a child or something like that okay perhaps you you're not abusing this child but maybe your spouses you know or that there could be uh, you know people in or around you that you know that's that could be doing this okay uh I mean there could be sexual abuse here too the nine of cups and the six of cups yeah this is some sort of childhood yeah someone here is reaching out as a cry for help here. And like I said, this could also be a romantic partner that's doing that, that you're involved with, that's dealing with all this here. Six of Swords, why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords. <coughs> the Wheel of Fortune here. I also feel like someone here has to go through this in order for them to learn and grow from this uh, experience. We have the Devil in the Two of Wands, wow. I do feel like with the devil here in the two of wands, someone here is not doing well. Someone here needs like a middle person to sort of like guide them, you know? This person needs the tools in order for them to improve their life here with the Hierophant. Yeah, someone here is you know, someone here is dealing with like depression, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights here. All right, so Sagittarius. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.